Hi everyone, it's Christine with Faith in Books. Let's get right to our new nonfiction title, starting with a new series of pop-up vehicles. We have Let's Sail, Let's Drive, Let's Fly, and Let's Dig. Each page will have a fun pop-up for your readers um, as they are learning about opposites, uh, words, numbers, colors. This is great for ages two to four. We have a new Nibbles and oh, Where's my Nibbles? He's right there. This is a new Nibbles Shapes. Uh, this time you will follow Nibbles along as he's chomping on circles, gobbling up the squares. There are cutouts on each page for your learners to enjoy as they're learning about shapes. We also have a new title in our My First Word series. This is Out and About. I love these. They're really light and sturdy board books for the younger readers. Um, they're colorful, with filled with words for them to learn and increase the vocabulary. We also have other titles in the series on animals, farm, and body. I really feel like this is such a hidden gem. In the Night is a new title out in the series. Check out what happens when I open the pages up. The images change. In this one, you can find out all kinds of creatures that come out at night. Isn't that cool? Uh, we also have other titles in this series, In the Ocean and In the Jungle. In our Peek Inside series, we have two new titles there, In the Pond and uh, Peek Inside Springtime. I'll show you springtime here. I always love the illustrations. They're just gorgeous with tons of flaps on each page that you can open up to learn about what grows in the springtime, all the animals that are buzzing and wiggling around this time of year. We also have two new titles in our Lift the Flap series, Very First Questions and Answers. This is Why Do I Sometimes Feel Sad and What is Mud? And Why Do I Sometimes Feel Sad? I'll talk about what makes us sad and how it's okay to be sad sometimes and what are some of the things that we can do to change that mood. And what is mud? We'll take a look at why we need mud and some of the things you can find inside of mud. In Us Born Step Inside Science Weather, you'll learn how it causes lightning, what causes thunder, uh, when you can see a rainbow. There are tons of holes that you can peek through with flaps inside as well. Uh, we also have germs in your body in this series. In our Look Inside series, you can tell we're big fans. Now we're adding this one to our collection. This is Look Inside a Zoo. I love the illustrations and all the different flaps with fun facts underneath each one. You'll learn about all kinds of animals you might see at the zoo, different giraffes to penguins. This is great for ages five and up. Speaking of animals, The Wild Life of Animals is a great book for my animal lovers. Talk about all kinds of interesting and fascinating facts to learn about everything you find in the animal kingdom uh, from wacky behaviors to how they thrive in different habitats this is a must for my animal lovers great for ages 9 to 11. two new additions to our shine a light series these are books where you can put a flashlight under each page and it'll reveal images we have backyard bugs at nighttime from interesting bugs you might find in your backyard to learning about what happens when the sun goes down be sure to ask your brand partner about all the other titles in the series. I am so excited to share with you the latest life-size book. This one is on deadly animals. These images are actual life-size parts of these creatures. So for example, here are some life-size black caiman jaws. How incredible is that? Um, if you like sharks, let me see if I can find this one. This is the actual size of a great white shark's mouth. Look at that kind of scary too, right? Um, we also have life-size, the original one, uh, life-size dinosaurs, and life-size baby animals.